This is the second time this year that a timekeeper has been a villain in a movie. I think Cillian Murphy's gonna be better than Jeremy Piven was. In time. Right off the bat, let me just apologize for getting this review out late. I just didn't have any time over the weekend. In time. I suck. I just didn't have any time until today to see it, so I apologize, but here it is in all its glory. In Time follows the story of Justin Timberlake, who lives in the not-too-distant future, and now time is currency, there's no more money, and you don't, you don't age past 25, and then you get one year to get more time to live. If you don't get enough time, you die. And at any point beyond that, if you don't have enough time, if your clock hits zero, so he lives in like the ghetto portion of the world. He meets this guy at a bar who has like over a century on his clock. He's rich and he gives Justin Timberlake all of his time, which makes Cillian Murphy, who is the timekeeper, want to go after him because everyone thinks that Justin Timberlake killed the guy. I wasn't really too interested in seeing In Time. I, I've said this many times. It looked like the most average movie ever made. And it really surprised me. I really, really like this movie. The performances in the movie, they're fine. Justin Timberlake, I can see him having a nice future as an actor. He can actually do action really well. Amanda Seyfried, who basically plays the girl that he uh, captures and takes with her, and then they grow attached to each other, and she wants to help him. She was okay in the movie. She wasn't horrible, but she wasn't anything that special. She had a few good lines that made me laugh, but other than that... She was alright. Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy should definitely be in a lot more movies than he's in right now. Last time I saw him when any major portion of a movie was Inception, and he had that cameo Tron Legacy, but who cares about that? It's nice to see him in a movie again, but I wish he was in more movies. I really do. And he's great in this movie as the timekeeper. He's... He's not all that menacing, per se, but when he shows up at a scene or... When he's saying something, you know, you know that you shouldn't mess with him, and he's been here for a while, and he knows what he's doing. Alex Pettyfer is kind of like a shark. He lives in the ghetto, too, and he just, like, runs around taking other people's time, you know, robbing them, whatnot. He was good in the movie. A lot of people have been saying he's horrible in the movie. I didn't see it. I thought he was pretty good in the movie. And at parts, I felt that he was better than Silly Murphy. I just, I liked him more as a villain sometimes. Now, the premise of In Time is one of the most original premises I've seen in a while. And everyone keeps saying that it wasn't executed well. I thought it was executed pretty well. I felt for the characters at the dramatic parts. I liked the action scenes. The action, it's filmed well. It's, there's no shaky cam. And there's a good amount of action in the movie. One thing I could say I really didn't like about the movie was the ending. Because you know that Silly and Murphy's eventually get catch him and they face off. And I, I didn't like the way that ended. Because I started predicting things in my head. And I saw everything coming. For the last 20 minutes of the movie, I just kept predicting everything. And it all kept coming true. So... That was a bit of a letdown, but other than that, I really enjoyed the movie. You should definitely go see it. I'm gonna give In Time a large popcorn. It's definitely better than I thought it would be. It's worth your time. Go see it. So what do you guys think of In Time? Out of all the four movies that are coming out this weekend, are you gonna see it? Are you gonna see Puss in Boots? Are you gonna see Anonymous? Are you gonna see The Rum Diaries? Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. Hey, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there, because if you don't, just hit it. Just hit it right now. Time's running out. Hit it.